Hi, baby. <laughs> You're back. Yes, I am. Welcome. Come here. Ah, uh, what are you making? Ah, uh, something good. How did the meeting go? Excellent. Mm. Beautiful. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, guess what I'm making? No, tell me. You know, I'm not great with guesses. Just tell me. Come what are you making? Oh, just make a guess. Ah, uh, fish pepper soup. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean? I'll tell you. Um, pepper jollof rice and turkey. Pepper jollof. Mm hmm. Boy, boy. <laughs> you read my mind, eh? Oh, really? I love to love. Well, uh, I make my food myself. You do? As a matter of fact, I don't eat out. You know, it's quite impressive to hear you say that, because in the times that we live in, a lot of big girls like yourself claim to be too busy with work and other activities of life, not to cook, you know. Not me. Because mm -mm. these food vendors, they cook nonsense. They don't even make food that can nourish our body. Hmm. So I make my food myself. So you want to nourish me today, huh? What was that? You like to nourish me? Come on, I don't lie. I didn't say that. You know what? I'm just going to go upstairs, change into something really, really easy so that I can be nourished. Stop it! Well, I just nudged you a little. What's wrong with you? Now? Run along. Go freshen up. So you don't like it? I like it, but stop it. You like it, but stop it. Yeah, not here. I like it. Why not here? Run along. Uh, I'm busy, come I, on! No, 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 I'm just, I'm just saying. I mean, I'm just... You know you know how to make me blush, right? You don't understand, like you just want something like this. <laughs> Gosh! Fast, I must say. Yeah. Uh, this was actually fast. You know, I was coming down to help you, not um, knowing that you you had this already. Okay. You don't have to bother. I'm done already. Um, sweetheart, I looked at the laundry basket upstairs. I didn't. I didn't find the clothes there. Your clothes? Yeah. I washed them. You did. Mhm. Mm I still went through the troubles of making this food. Troubles, you say? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of work. You, I mean, there's there's a laundry man down the street. I mean, we could get him to come. Come on, do Johnson. The laundry. It's not a bother. I mean, if I was home, I would have done the laundry myself. So, don't worry about that. Wow. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Please. Thank you so much. Mm. I caught you. <laughs> yeah, you did. What's going through your mind? Nothing. Spill it. Nothing. Come on, Johnson. Spill it. Oh, no. Come on. All right, I'll tell you. I'm just thanking my stars for making a good choice. Okay. I still do not understand what you mean. Look at you. You're beautiful. You're educated. You're exposed. You've got a great job. You know, you, you, you have a great life, you know, going for you. But you find the time to come here and, and make food. Do my laundry. Make sure that the house is... He's all set up and clean. And you still keep me company and just make me happy. You are one of the most cultured women I have met in my entire life, I tell you. Well, let's just say I was properly trained. 
not just in school, but also at home. All thanks to my disciplinarian mom. Your mom? Mm-hmm, my mom. God bless your mother. Amen. Because all that she gave you is what's lacking in today's woman. Mm. Yes. Thank you. Values, values, values. But let, let's talk about your mom a bit. My mom? Yeah, tell me about her. My mom. There's a whole lot to say about my mom. Let's start from somewhere. Okay. She was a secondary school teacher before she retired. Mm. Mm -hmm. How about your dad? My dad is a police officer. So he's still in service? Of course he's still in service. Oh wow. Oh wow, wow what? Wow what? So if I misbehave now, you, you just have me arrested. One hand. <laughs> 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 it's okay, don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll be proper. Mm. I'll be proper. You better be. Yeah. You know, we were talking about something, but we didn't get to finish. What? What exactly do you do for a living? Oh, Yahoo, Yahoo. Y yeah, what? Yahoo, Yahoo. Like, you know, computer, Yahoo, Yahoo. Like, internet, Yahoo. Johnson. Hmm? Are you for real? Yahoo now. You're not serious, right? No, come on. Yahoo, Yahoo. Johnson, you are a fraudster. <laughs> see your serious face. <laughs> I was just joking. Can't you see I'm laughing? Relax. Okay, I'll tell you what I do. Relax. Okay. Relax. Talk. I do supplies. But big time, I, I buy properties and, and resell. So I'm, I'm into real estate. Uh, I do a lot of legitimate business, you know, to stay afloat. So it's okay. I, I just said that to make you, <laughs> to get this reaction. Uh, you mean you built this house? Yes, I own this building. I built it um, when I relocated from Lagos to this state. I, I needed my own house and so I set it up. Oh, good. So you mean um, the business wasn't going well in Lagos, that's why you relocated to Asaba? No, of course. Real estate will, will do well anywhere in the world. Um, but Lagos just got a bit um, toxic with the mafias and the business of real estate who would stop at nothing to keep their relevance. And I don't like trouble, you know, so I decided to come here and um, do my business. And so far, so good. Uh, and not forgetting, too, that Delta State is one of the fastest developing states in Nigeria, so... So, yeah. I see. Yeah. No, you scared me. I was just, I was just, I was just messing with you. Yeah, yeah. But if yeah, you were so yeah, scared, why, did, why didn't you run into my house if you were so scared? Come here, let me oh, tell really? you something. Oh, yeah, really? I come. should be running away from you. you should yeah, be what again? Into my big arms. Come, let me tell you something. Come, tell me uh, what? We just finished it in Columbia. Tell me what. Uh, what do you want to tell me? Baby. Yeah. I told my mom about us. Oh, you did? Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> you should have at least told me. Okay, tell me, what did she say? Calm down. Now, of course, uh, now I'm uncomfortable. What did she say? <laughs> tell okay, me. I showed her your picture. And? And she fell for you immediately. <laughs> <laughs> You're blushing, yeah? Yes, I am. Mm. How she doing? She's fine. Whew. Okay, at least but next time you just tell me. So, you know, I send you a very nice picture of me that you sent. Oh, What's wrong with you? Really? What picture did you even send to her? Oh, forget it. You're always cute. <laughs> So baby, tell me, huh? when do you intend to see her? Oh, come on. We'll go see mommy soon, okay? Baby. Yes. How soon is your soonest? How is it that you don't know what you mean to me? Baby, of course I know what I mean to you. Are you sure? Yes, and you know I love you too, okay? You are the breath that I take. I can't do without you. And if you want me to show you how much I love you, why did you tell your mother about us without consulting me first? Baby. It is crystal clear to you and I that I have not made a categorical statement 
about where this relationship is going and you go ahead to tell your mother about me without telling me why. Baby, why are you sounding like that? Ah, stop! stop. What the fuck? <gasps> you tell your mother about me <gasps> without talking to me about it first. Oh. Johnson, do you have to slap? Ah, no, 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 no. Johnson, Johnson. Will you do it again? Johnson, no. Will you do it again? Are you tell anyone about me without talking to me first? Somebody help me. Huh? Please, don't. You, you to get me. Just please. Do it again. I saw the call. I'm going to kill you. Just please. If I'm to ask a question, then I'll ask myself What is happening? Come on, come on, come on. What is happening to me? This house to kill and take the life of someone I love. This was that is pushing me, pushing me to end the life. What have I done? This I am me. I am me. Oh my God, what have I done? Oh my God. Lord, help me. What have I done? Is what, is is what, is what have I done? What is happening to me? My life in the hands of the one I love. I, I was chatting with Johnson, and all of a sudden, as if something pitched into him, he became unnecessarily angry and he came for my neck. He wanted to snuff the life out of me. No, I think Johnson, Johnson is possessed by a demon. He nearly murdered me. You need to see the look on his face. His eyes were red, blooded. Oh, he nearly succeeded. Honestly, it was a narrow escape for me. No. No. No, 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 I can't walk away. I can't walk away now. I have come to love him with all my life. I know Justin needs help. And I want to help him. I want to help him. I want to help him. Anyone about me without talking to me first. Somebody help me. Huh? Please don't. You to get me. Just please. Just please. Just please. Just please. Just please. Up till now, Johnson hasn't called me to say he is sorry. I've waited for a whole week for him to call or come looking for me. All to no avail. He 
Is he a ritual killer? No, mm -mm. I don't think so. If he's into rituals, I will definitely know. I will have this strange feeling whenever we are close. I think it's drugs. It could be he was under the influence of drugs on that day. Nah, mm -mm. Johnson. Johnson, I know he's a gentleman. Or maybe he's struggling with some spiritual problem. Hmm. I will definitely find out. I will. If I'm to ask a question, then I'll ask myself, yeah. What is happening? What is happening to me? It's out to kill and take the life of someone I love. This force that is pushing me, pushing me to end the life. Oh, this minute I am me. I am me. The other minute I'm a monster. I'm a monster. What is happening? What is happening to me? This minute I'm me. The other minute I'm a monster. I'm a monster. What's really happening? What's happening to me? Yeah. Somebody help me. I don't know what to do. What is going on? Is Johnson avoiding me? He's not even picking his calls. Hmm. How sure am I he has not done something stupid to himself? I have to find out. What is happening? What is happening to me? This minute I am me. The other minute I'm a monster. I'm a monster. What's really happening? What's happening to me? Yeah. Somebody help me. I don't know what to do. Cause this is getting out of hand, oh. And I'm losing myself. Yeah. Somebody help me. Cause it looks like I'm going insane, oh. And this is getting out of hand, though. I don't know what to do. Someone come to my aid. You here? I'm helpless. I have been calling you. Why are you not taking my calls? What is going on? Why have you been avoiding me? Listen, Johnson, I love you so, so much. And you know it. I loved this one to death. He belongs to me. No one else can have him. What is going on? Listen, Johnson, I need you to confirm to me that you need help. I have fallen helplessly in love with you. I love you with everything in me, my body, my soul, my spirit. Fuck! Stop talking to me about love. Stop it. Stop it. What is going on? Stop it. You are scaring me. You have to go. Just go and never return. Johnson, you have to say no to that demon that possesses you all the time. Go. Just look at you. Just go. You are too handsome to be possessed by a demon. Go. Just leave. Johnson, you have to talk to me. Go. 
I want to help you. Leave. Baby. If you don't leave, I am going to kill you. Baby. I you need to trust to kill me. kill you with my bare hands. Just leave. Please. Leave right now. You need to talk to me. Just go. This once and for all. Just please. Someone! Somebody! Just please. Kill. And I love you. I don't know how else to say this to you, but I love you. And I will go extra miles to make sure that your mental state is handled. I'm not mad, Debbie. Oh, Johnson, you are. No, you are. Tell me, what will make a sane mind want to mother someone? What? Johnson, you are mentally unstable. And that is what medical science can handle. Actually said you're a hit and run. No. Was she the one that called you a hit and run? Yes, um, Victoria. Victoria was the one that called you a oh, hit and run. Vicky. Mm -hmm. 
See, um, Debbie told me point blank that you are demon possessed and she cannot deal with it. So she has to withdraw back to wait for her first love who is based in the UK. And I need help. Because this just happens each time this girls fall in love with me. That's when it happens. This is strange. I need help. I need all the help that I can get. I'm speechless. Johnson, I, I, I want to help you, but I don't actually know where to start. So you have to you have to find a way to start. Please. I need your help. Help me. I know. Forever been debted to you. Automatically, I should paint it the way you want it to be. I should say what will make you happy, right? No, I won't. Were you not happy when you left to go and be with this man? And at the end, what happened? He broke your heart. He tore your heart into shreds and he left you a wreck. If you go to this guy's house now, you'll be shocked that he has moved on with his life as if nothing ever happened. Possibly with one uh, uh, chip of a woman who doesn't understand her power as a woman. <sighs> Emirad has never been loved by any man, and she has never allowed a man to love her. It will be pointless discussing this with her because she would never understand. Why are you here? I thought you said you were leaving. Of course I left. I came back because I ran into this woman that sells dry akidi mixed with corn. I know it's your favorite, so I bought it for you. Thank you, I appreciate it. But I'm sorry, food is the least of my worries right now. <laughs> Queen CC, I'm not just talking about any food here. I'm talking about dried akidi mixed with corn with some pieces of dry fish. Babe, you know you're a stalker when it comes to this meal. So, eat. I heard it the first time. I am not hungry, thank you. I'm fine. <laughs> if you think I'm going to allow you starve to death because of that guy, no, I will not. You're going to eat this food. I told you it's your favorite. So just hold on. Let me go in. Get spoon for you to eat. <laughs> when will this stop? This whole confusion is giving me cause to worry. When will this come to an end? Who can believe that a man my age is not even married? And how can I achieve that when I have this constant urge to kill any girl that comes close to me? Oh my goodness. There has to be something I can do to put an end to this. But then what is it? What can I do? This was that is pushing me, pushing me to end the life. Whoa, this minute I am me. I am me. The other minute I'm a monster. I'm a monster. What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? Indeed, Johnson needs help. He has been battling with this psycho case for a long while now. He's appearing to be responsive to supernatural powers. I just wish there is a way I can render help to my friend. His case is more or less a psychiatric one and I seriously think he needs to see a psychiatric doctor. 
the other minute I'm a monster. I'm a monster. What is happening? What is happening? What is happening to me? This minute I'm a there is this very critical saying that you must ponder on. When a man searches for his missing item, he searches for it where he kept it and where he never kept it. The whole essence of the search is for him to find the missing item. So what is the connection between the proverb and the situation at hand right now? Everything. There is an issue. And the best shot of solving this issue is what I have initiated. You have not initiated a solution to this problem. What you have initiated, my friend, is an insult. By insinuating that I am mad. And how is, it, how is it that my own friend would be the one to think that I am mad and should see a psychiatric doctor? Okay, Chi, I don't understand. Just a place. You have to understand me. All I want is solution to this. You have to understand that I have told you that I'm not mad and you need to believe me. You've got to believe me, man. I'm not mad. How many times am I going to say that I'm not only mentally deranged people go for mental evaluation? I'm not mad. I'm okay. But this is a psycho case. And it's one of the things they handle at psychiatric homes. Why do you have a problem accepting that I'm not mad? Or do you want me to be mad? No, I don't understand. Do you want me to be mad? Because I'm sitting here as your friend and we are talking. And clearly you can see that I'm not mad. Yet I'm finding it hard to convince my own friend that I'm fine. I am not Mad, only mentally deranged people go for psych psychiatric evaluation. Like, I, I am not mad. Okay, Chi, I am not mad. I am not mad. I am not mad. Don't you get? Boy, 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 you behave like one. Respect yourself. Respect yourself. You talk and yell at You and yell at How do I look like a mad person? Am I, am I sounding like a mad person? Do I look mad to you? Am I roaming, roaming the streets of, 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 of this town naked? You've known me longer than any, anyone else. This is beginning to upset me now. I don't drink, I don't take hard drugs, I don't do, I, 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 I don't, I, I don't do anything that is abnormal. So why would you think that I'm mad? I am not mad. I am fine. Johnson. You're not mad per se. Yeah, no, there is nothing like per se. Okay, I'm not mad. Just say I am not mad. Johnson, you are not mad. Try. It's fine, Johnson. You are not mad. Good. I am not mad. You're not mad. I yes. Agreed. agreed you're not mad. But your case needs urgent attention. Attention of a psychiatric doctor. Before you kill someone and probably go to jail or sentenced to death by hanging or something. I don't want that to happen to you. I say that I cannot convince you otherwise. But I tell you this. I am not mad. And I'm not going anywhere with you. And that's final. I'm not mad. Justin, are you walking out on me? Already. I can yell this guy I can. On our couple of shades. Who's there? Who's there? Locking the door. As in, you don't want me to go in and talk to that lunatic. Fantastic. So you know he's a lunatic. And you come here alone? I mean, what do you intend to achieve? 
just get him for me. I want to talk some sense into his head. No matter what you want to say through him now, I will beg you to please come back later. Johnson is not in the right frame of mind of receiving visitors right now. That lunatic, Johnson or whatever his name is, turned my friend into a walking shame. And you don't want me to go in there and tell him my mind? I, I want to tell him my mind. See, At least talk some sense into his head. We will have time to do all that, please. But for now, let us give him time to heal, okay? I know your friend did nothing wrong and must not be treated the way she was treated. But then she's not the only one he treated that way. So please, understand that something is wrong with Johnson. And we are still trying to understand what it is. I'm not going to say anything. has psychiatric problem. Which of your friends? Johnson here. I don't see anything wrong with the young man seated before me. Doctor, trust me. He has a mental case. Trust me. Why don't you stop it? We've talked about this before. I'm not mad. Stop your embarrassing me and I don't like it. He doesn't seem mad. He's not mad. Please, what is your name? My name is Johnson. Johnson, what do you do for a living? I'm a contractor and a real estate developer. I just moved to Asaba Delta State recently. It sounds all right. I don't understand. Please, make me understand. What don't you understand, Vanessa? What? Did it really happen? Like, he tried to strangle you to death? Kill you? You know, when I hadn't fallen in love with Johnson, everything was so perfect. Everything was going on so well. But immediately I fell head over heels in love with him. The urge to strangle me will always creep into him. What? You know, I... Uh, whenever he gets himself, he will just push me away. And one can see the regrets in his eyes. Hey, what kind of story is this? You know, my mom asked me to leave whatever I had with him and take a walk. My dear, I had to do that. Just to avoid stories that touches the heart. Before Uncle, that car is a dead trap. Eh? And I don't want anything to happen to you. I still need you around here, you know. You know, at first I thought it was something I could handle. But my dear, it became worst. There's no way I can put my life on the line, so I just have to take a walk. Babe, you messed up. You shouldn't have gone back to that house. But you, you need to first thank God for this miracle of saving your life. Uh, Mr. Johnson, have you been on hard drugs recently? Doctor, I don't smoke, I don't drink, I do not do hard drugs. He knows, the rest of my friends know me very well. I see. It's obvious. It's obvious. 
Please. Can you go and lie on the bed there? This moment I am me. I am me. The other me to my monster. My monster. What is happening? What is happening to me? This minute I am me. The other minute I am a monster. My monster. What's really happening? What's happening to me? Yeah. Somebody help me. I don't know what to do. Cause this is getting out of hand, oh. And I'm losing myself. Yeah. Somebody help me. Cause it looks like I'm going insane, oh. And this is getting out of hand, though. I don't know what to do. Someone come to my aid, oh. I am a helpless man, no. Find this. Your friend looks okay. There is nothing wrong with him from the observations. But not to worry, since you are the person closest to him, what have been your observations that brought about your suspicion? Oh, this minute I am me. I am me. The other minute I am me. Vanessa, Vanessa. Vanessa, I still feel something for Johnson. You know I can't lie to you. Kill that Phyllis. Biko, what is it? <sighs> Johnson. Johnson, I love you deeply. I wish I could just stay. Babe, there's no point crying over split milk. Your life is at stake here. Would you risk your life all because of love? You don't get it, do you? No, you've seen Johnson before. Did you just take a good look at that guy? My darling, that guy is too cute to go through what he is going through right now. I understand. But you need to listen to your mom. Babe, this is the same guy. That you said he told you bluntly that whenever a girl is in love, like madly in love with him, he wants to mother her. And that's the reason I shouldn't have fallen in love with him in the first place. At least so that I can help prove a solution to his problems. Okay. I think um, he will need to see a psychiatric doctor. My instinct tells me that this problem is not medical, but spiritual. I mean, Johnson talks normal. We have so many normal people in this world who are mad. One minute they are okay, the next they are mad. And um, if this year Johnson is not like that, it means he's into drugs. Mm -mm. Not my Johnson. He doesn't even smoke. In fact, he told me himself that he has never smoked before. It doesn't have anything to do with drugs. Babe, if you listen to me, I don't want you to get involved with this guy. Because that spirit disturbing him can catch up with you anytime. And I don't want that to happen to my friend. Yeah. Doctor. Yeah. He's my friend. Trust me, he has mental case. Okay. Oh. Stop embarrassing me. I have told you for the optimist time I am not mad. Stop it. You're beginning to insult me. I don't like it. Dr. Raymond. Yeah. yeah. He confided in me that he always has this urge to kill girls that fall deeply in love with him. Not once, not twice. What do you call that? 
In that case, then, he has no medical case. It's a spiritual matter. And then I suggest he goes. You people go to a spiritual... Go and seek a spiritual help. Spiritual help, like... Like spiritual deliverance or what? It could be any of them. Including seeking for help from traditional healers. No medical sense has not officially accepted their existence. But we all know that there. Sometimes they have solved problems that left medical practice and science helpless and confused. So I suggest you go look for spiritual help. It's okay, Doctor. I thank you so much for sparing your time. No, don't bother thanking me. I'm only doing my job. We'll look into it, Doctor. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, just think about it. Thank you. Vanessa, my major concern right now is that I don't even know how Johnson is doing. Debbie. Can you stop? What is this? What has suddenly come over you? So you want to kill yourself? Please, let him fix himself. Even if Johnson needs to fix himself, I need to be there. We need to do this fixing together, don't you get it? You've cheated on Alex. And yet you're here saying all this. You're here telling me about your love story with a madman. You should hide your face in shame, honestly. Okay, okay, please, Vanessa, do not rub it in. Yes, I know I cheated on Alex, but everyone in my shoes could have done the same. The very day I gave myself to Johnson was the day I ended things with Alex. I don't double date. And this lunatic who is looking for who to kill is the reason you're not wearing Alex's ring again? Vanessa, please don't make me lose it. Johnson is not a lunatic. He only has spiritual problems. Then, if you only have switch problem, why are you here? Why are you running? I ended things with Alex. Because he has not even called me in over a year. My dear, I am not getting any younger. Just take a good look at me. Please stop making me look as if I, I, I am not serious. Hello, Odogun Oke. He came one eke himself. I'm fine, I'm fine. 
Yes, I am where you asked me to wait. Oh, you're on your way already? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'll be waiting. All right, all right. All right. You're welcome, my friend. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> so how was it? Very well. Quincy, I'm so happy to see you like this. I mean, you're really picking up so fast. Guess what? What? There's this guy I met. His name is Odera. He's a businessman, so he's into building materials. Not just that. The exciting part is that he's also a graduate. Yes. I want you to meet with him. I know that things will go well for the both of you. I don't get it. You found this guy for me. Why? Emira, the last I checked, you are a single lady like me. And your own is even worse because you've never been in any relationship. So why finding him for me? Why not for yourself? I actually found him for you because you are the one who is in desperate need of a man. You're not, not caught in the web, so men are the least of my problems. Well, same here. Men are the least of my worries right now. Men are the least of your worries right now. So why are you agonizing over this guy? Get over him and move on. That's the only way you can convince me that men are the least of your worries. I can never convince you that men are the least of my worries because definitely someday I am going to get married to a man. I am not you. But the thing is that you are not the one to make that decision for me. I will do it myself. Just drink off. So how is your how is your sister? Himself. Okay, she is even married. Oh, Nanam Donine. It's good to see you. Yeah, same here. Same here. Uh, you know, I don't know your place. So I decided to call you to give me directives to your house, but you want to come and pick me, so which is fine. <laughs> you know, okay, Kreshi, I'm not a man of so many words. I am committed to practicals, and that is why I'm resort to the internet. So I heard. I. You have to drive behind me. I want to take you to my place and tell you the reason you came. You already know why I came. You are not here for yourself. You are here for your friend. Let's go. Look 
whatever thing that is hidden cannot be hidden before Ugili. And I want to do everything. I want to ask you. Is he still alive? I want to understand exactly what you are saying. So I will know what I will tell the man that is sitting before me. Do I have your permission to reveal to Keishi sitting before me everything you have said about Joseph? Ike Moneke, the name you just mentioned is my friend's name. And he's the reason I'm here. Do not interrupt me again. You are sitting before you came on, okay? And nothing is hidden before me. I am going to tell you exactly what they want me to tell you. Please do, do my my ears are all wide open. Quiet. I cannot be coming here anymore. If yeah. you cannot marry me, you do that one. Mirabelli, Joe. Mirabelli, oh, the job for Kombale. Meaning? Uh, uh, calm down. That is what I'm telling you. Why am I coming you. down? Uh, do you know how much they sell house in that uh, new lay Can't you afford it? About? Oh, Moju, it's very expensive. You are a trillionaire! Now see me here. You are not just a billionaire, you have money. Your money is too much. It's very warm. That place is. And the twinkle of an eye like this, you have bought the house. Why are you driving like this? Why are you behaving like this? Ah, yeah. Wait. I think it's time you go to your wife. You return to your wife. I will think about it. Think about what? Why must you think about it? Why must you think about something you can willingly do for me? Something you can afford? Uh, yeah, I oh, please. Think about go back to your I wife. Oh. Don't leave me like this. Mirabelli. Don't leave me like this now.